Right, so if you have read and understood, consider yes. the, uh, history taking station, kindly begin. Hello, I'm Dr. Mithila, one of the surgical doctor. May I confirm your name and age, please? Uh, yes, I'm Mary. My, I'm 53 years old. Nice to meet you, Mary. I can see you are in pain. Do you need any analgesic right now? Uh, no, thank you, doctor. Okay, do you want me to turn the light off for you? Uh, yes, that might be a good idea. Okay, I'm turning off the light. Is that situation is comfortable for you now? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, can we start talking? Yes, please. Okay, so how can I help you today, ma'am? Oh, uh, I've been experiencing this severe headache mm -hmm. and uh, this happened a few days back and suddenly mm -hmm. I lost uh, my consciousness. And mm -hmm. uh, since then, I'm having this headache. Okay. Uh, so uh, for last few days, you are having this kind of pain. Is it, it is okay. continuous or it comes and goes? Um, it is, uh, it's coming and going, but okay. it's increasing How did it start? It? Suddenly or gradually? I think it started suddenly. I I, I had uh, fallen and then okay. I lost my consciousness. Mm -hmm. And after that, I've been experiencing this headache. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. So um, does it radiate anywhere else? Um, from no, your it's just, no, no, it's just in my head region. Okay, in which region? In front part, back, or side? It's uh, actually in the back part, back part. and uh, okay. maybe the whole of it. Uh, I can't actually specify. Okay, it's okay. Just Can you describe painful. the pain for me? It's it a throbbing very, or stabbing? Yes, yes it's very, Severe. very throbbing kind of pain, and I cannot okay. bear it when I have it. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Does anything make this pain worse? Uh, yes, maybe sometimes when I cough, I feel the headache is very painful. Okay, or does anything make the pain um, goes away? Like or nowadays. Okay, can you please rate the pain, severity of the pain for me uh, from 0 to 10, where 0 being the no pain and 10 being the worst pain you ever had? Uh, it's very painful. I, I must say it's maybe 8 out of 10. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. So you said that you have loss of consciousness. So with that yes. um, episode and... Have you ever noticed any kind of involuntary movement of your any part of body? No. Any weakness of leg or arm? No, not really. Any problem with feelings or say sensation over that area or any part of your body? No. Have you? I just up? have this. Oh uh, no! I didn't throw up, but I lost my consciousness once, and okay. nothing else. Then I'm having this pain. Do you have any uh, problem with your um, eye vision? 
No, no problem with them. And you have you banged your head? No, maybe when I lost my consciousness, maybe I had I maybe I hurt my head. Yes. Okay. Do you something like that. Ever happened. feel any stiffness around your neck? No, not really. Any fever or? I'm otherwise. How have you been? Okay. How have your appetite been? It's normal. I can eat. Have properly. you noticed any unintentional weight loss? No. Have you visited your GP regularly for any other kind of disease like blood pressure, high blood pressure or anything? Uh, not uh, blood pressure, but uh, I had um, yeah, visit my GP for um, uh, I uh, for some hypertension. Yes. Okay, so you take some medication. Can you please tell me yeah, the yeah. name and doses of that drug? No, I don't uh, remember the okay, uh, dose or okay. the medicine name. Have you ever had any kind of surgery, like kidney surgery or anything like that? Uh, no. Do you have any drug or food allergy? No. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Yes, please go ahead. What do you do for your living? Um, just a school teacher. Okay. Who is at home with you? Oh, my husband and family. Do you smoke? No. Do you drink alcohol? No, sometimes. Okay, so what do you think? What's this? What's going on? I don't okay. know this. Can you please summarize your history taken? Okay. Um, Miss Mary, a school teacher, 53 years of uh, old lady, um, brought to the emergency department. Uh, with the sudden loss of consciousness and uh, for headache for last several days. Um, but uh, she had no visual disturbance, no um, uh, weakness of any, any kind of the, any part of body. Uh, no. So what are your provisional and differential diagnosis? hemorrhage and yes. differentials are meningitis uh, any kind of space occupying lesion um, any um, what investigations migraine? would you would you ask for to confirm your diagnosis at first i will advise ct scan of the brain yes. uh, upon the findings i will go for further investigation like csf tapping or uh, ct angiogram or mri how do you think uh, she should be managed? Um, she should be managed in a neurosurgical unit. I will inform the multidisciplinary team. team at first, I will give her analgesic. And if, as she is a hypertensive patient, I will give her oral nimodipine, 60 milligram every four hourly. Um, also give bed rest. You manage IV. according to which protocol? According to Chris protocol, yes, critically ill patient. She came in uh, a &E. emergency okay. department with what severe. What are the headache. treatment, or how would you manage her? It will depend upon the uh, cause. Uh, if it is a subarachnoid hemorrhage, at first I will give emphasis on control of hypertension. Yes. Uh, after that, um, if uh, there is aneurysm and uh, a coiling can be done or any sur any kind of surgery like clipping or craniotomy. If yes. it is a, a space occupying lesion, then after, uh, after discussion, um, with, MDT, discussion with MDT, yes. surgery yes. or any um, confirmed treatment will be done. Okay, good. Yes. Right. Uh, if time would have allowed you, how would you have completed your history? I would have completed my eyes. Uh, idea, concern, yes. and expectation. You're about to ask that. Anything yes. else? And after that, a systemic examination. Uh, sorry, systemic history. 
okay. and anything she wants to add. But did you remember to ask family history? Oh, sorry, I forgot. I have yes. to ask the family history. Family well. history was very important. And in yes. this one, mm -hmm. since uh, we borrowed for a person for uh, role, role playing, in exam, you yes. have a professional patient. And professional patient will tell you that patient was operated or patient had polycystic kidneys. That was the already okay. medical condition patient was suffering yes. from. So then and it's the familial disease. And then uh, yes, and then there'll be aunt suffering from this condition as well. So that's why uh, when you say your provisional diagnosis is cerebral hemorrhage, it will make more sense. Another okay. thing I wanted to ask you, uh, I, I wanted to say that you started off very well. You asked, you showed empathy, you asked if life is okay, if patient uh, is able to talk or needs a painkiller or something. And then when patient started to tell you about the pain, uh, you forgot to say, I'm really sorry about your pain or, or your headache or um, I can really imagine how painful that would be or how problematic that your condition would be like here um, when whenever no matter whatever history taking station you are doing whenever patient tells you about the problem then you have to say one mm -hmm. or two uh, empathetic sentences okay. because you did say you. later on but not at that moment at okay. that particular moment you must say okay right. thank you and, yeah good thank you